So it's For Your Money Wednesday, and for parents of graduating high school seniors, the thought of paying for college is becoming more of a reality, and then it's a scary prospect for so many other parents. Yeah, pretty much everyone, right? And even if you're not fully prepared to pay for college, our financial expert, Andy Mattingly, joins us with ways you can still help your child. I mean, we just have to get through the summer. We have 12 weeks. It's yes. pretty short notice. Yeah, so the first thing is don't panic, even if you don't have the money yet or you're not sure what to do. You, you can now start working with your um, son or daughter's college. You know, there's a lot of student loans, there's tuition assistance, there's jobs, so you can figure some of those things out. So, there, And there's some other ways you can pay, too. Yeah, so, so what are some of those other options beyond the campus jobs? And well, you know, some things is there's some non-student loan type of loans you can do. You can do some personal loans. You can think about a home equity loan to pay for that. And you can also think about paying for it out of your regular expenses. Or, I mean, you know, kind of make it a regular expense out of your regular income. So maybe you don't take the vacation and you cut some other expenses out and try to pay for it kind of on a monthly basis. How do most people pay for college? Yeah, that's a big thing. Most people think that everyone else but them is the ones who've saved in the 529 and pay for it. But really, I think it's still about 40% of all tuition is paid with 529 plans right now, and the rest of it's through other things, scholarships, um, student loans, and just regular income. Pulling so, resources. Yeah. Yes. And, yes. and what's some, what are some options that parents of younger kids should consider looking long term? Well, first and foremost is the 529 plan, especially Indiana's plan. It's one of the best 529 plans that you can get. What's the biggest advantage of that, though? Um, the biggest advantage is the tax advantages. So you get the advantage of putting money in, you get a tax break, and then all the earnings grow tax-free. So you kind of get a double, double savings there, and so your money goes a little farther. Oh, nice. So people might say, okay, a 529 plan, I don't even know what that is. Is it, is it that tough to start a plan? It's like really easy to start, on, um, start it online. You can start it with $10, usually $10 or $15 a month. It's very easy to do. You pretty much have everything you need to know. All you need is your child's social security number, and you can probably start it online. Okay, never too late to really do that? No, because one of the things is even if your kids are in college, you can still make the uh, contribution, get the tax oh, wow. advantage, and then pull the money right back out. So you don't want to miss the tax advantage, even if you're not going to get the earnings advantage. So uh, are there any other things, if you've got younger kids like I do, yes. to, so, to save up? Yes. So the big thing that we try to tell a lot of people is focus on their kids' education. So start early, get them in the best preschools, you know, grade schools, high schools, things like that. Focus on STEM, get them ready for ACT and SAT because college and universities like to compete for very smart kids and that's where you get all of the scholarships and things like that. All right, so it's not all on you, mom and dad, it's on the kiddos yeah. too. Exactly. Thank you so much, we appreciate Thank you. it.